Welcome to Tech Weather with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the parameterized linked services in Azure Data Factory. So why do we need to use the parameterized linked services? Because the linked service is a connection to the database or some data store, and often we have to uh, change on the fly. Maybe you are reading a data from multiple databases. So this could be one of the scenario where you are, uh, let's say you have a uh, same table name in uh, multiple databases and uh, you don't want to create a separate pipelines or even use the multiple copy activities uh, to read from uh, different uh, databases. You want to use the same copy activity but you want to uh, change the database name on the fly. So in uh, this case, uh, think about this scenario, how to create CSV files from different Azure SQL databases to Azure Blob. So this could be one of the scenario. Now let me take you further down there and uh, take a look at what exactly I'm talking about. So here I have TechWiz IT and then I have another database called the test. These are two different uh, databases, uh, but uh, these uh, databases uh, contain a table called customer. So if uh, in this case, uh, I want to create a pipeline where I will be reading from uh, TechRizor DB and uh, from a uh, test uh, database uh, at the different uh, uh, time and uh, then creating the uh, customer file. So uh, let me show you the data what we have here. So in this uh, TechRizor DB, I have a uh, uh, column ID name and comment and it says uh, TechRizor ITDB. Now if I go to the test, uh, uh, what I have, I have uh, uh, ID2, Amir, and the comments. So this uh, data, is data is coming from the test DB. Now, um, what uh, we are going to do here, we are going to go ahead and create the pipeline, and then uh, we are going to use this query. So then uh, think uh, right there. So I got the list of the databases. Um, so and then uh, I will be, I got the list of uh, the file names according to database name. So I created uh, these uh, queries uh, kind of hard coded them. Um, in your case, uh, you might be reading a list of all databases. Maybe you will say select uh, uh, DP, uh, select asterisk from sys.databases, right? So in this case, uh, let's say you have uh, tons of databases uh, and uh, you have a table uh, in, uh, you know, um, sitting in maybe different, uh, you know, uh, databases and you will want to loop through those uh, lists of the databases and you can do that uh, by using linked uh, services uh, with the parameters. Uh, so that's what we are going to use here. In my case, uh, I'm going to simply go ahead and hard code these two values uh, and uh, use it. Um, so let's go back here. Let me take you right there. So we see right here. Okay, so now we go to the Azure Data Factory. Here is the portal, and then uh, I have opened Azure Data Factory. As of now, I do not have anything. I'm going to go to the Manage and then create a linked service. Uh, create new, and we will be creating the, the linked service to the Azure SQL DB. And uh, we are going to call this one LNK Azure SQL. Now, Select your subscription and then you will be selecting a server name. In my case, it's going to be TechBrazo server and then you will be selecting a database name. Here, you don't have to worry too much about it because we are going to parameterize this part. Now, I can go ahead and select TechBrazo ITDB and then provide a username and then I'm going to provide the, the da password. Now, further down there, there is a, call, a tab called parameters. Click right there and then click a new. So we call this a parameter LNKDB name, so we would know that this is a common, this is for use for the linked service. You can provide the value here, maybe I will go ahead and provide test value here, make one of my database name is test anyways. Once this part is done, what you're going to do, you're going to come in back here in the DB name and click right there. So if you click right there, um, Maybe it will not show you uh, anything like add dynamic content. So what you will do, click uh, uh, enter manually. So right there, and uh, then uh, if you see right there, let me see where is your database. So see right there, uh, add dynamic content. So that's where you're gonna see LNKDB. That's the parameter you're gonna use. That's what we have created, okay? Hit OK, and now what uh, we have to do, we have to provide fully qualified name for our SQL, Azure SQL. So that's here, not a big deal. I'm going to copy from a clicker right there and then uh, I will copy the name of the server and paste it there. When I was doing uh, from Azure from subscription, it's, it was not giving me that uh, add you know, dynamic content. That's why I had to go to manually. Okay, not a big deal. 
So we are going to just uh, test our connection. Yeah, provide the name for uh, this parameter. Sorry, provide a value for this parameter. Click OK. And now it's uh, testing. It's uh, tested successfully because we have provided the correct uh, database name. Hit create. Now it is creating a linked service so with the parameters. Now we go to the code here and we can take a look right there. So it is the name and then it is in link DB. So it is a parameter. Okay, to string type and default value is a test. That's fine. Now we are going to hit a cancel. We are going to go to the pipeline here and creating a new pipeline. New pipeline. In my case, as I'm looping to multiple databases and I will be changing them in the same pipeline. So I need to get the list of the database names. So let's use the lookup for that. In the lookup, we are going to use that query. And here we create new data set. Azure SQL. And I can call this linked service, same linked service what we are going to use. Um, it is pointing to the same uh, databases and all that and I'm hard coding so not a big deal but if you are getting the list of the databases or other parameter from some other database then create the link service service for that uh, uh, database so now I'm gonna call this one the yes lookup okay and uh, I don't have to use any table here I'm gonna hit okay and now I'm gonna go to the query and uh, in the query I will get the query that returns me uh, my database name and it returned me the file so I'm gonna copy here and now I will go back to the pipeline provide the query that there next part of what we are gonna do first row only remove that I have multiple rows to return and uh, then I will be using for each loop bring the for each loop here connect your lookup and you can give a proper name to your lookup if you want in my case uh, I'm very I will say get the list of uh, DBs and file names. Okay, so that will make it more readable. Go to the for each loop. In the for each loop, uh, loop through DB names. Okay, and uh, go to settings. And here we go to the items. And here we will be using the value from the lookup. Um, so get list of the DB names and file names. And here we'll say output dot value. Okay, now we are all good here. Next part, what we have to do, we have to bring the copy activity. Click on this pencil icon for configuration. It will take you inside the for each loop. Bring the copy activity. And now our work is gonna be starting. Not a big deal, very easy, go to source. And here we will be creating a data set. Click new, Azure, SQL, database, and I'm going to provide some nice name to this. So I'm going to call this a DS uh, customer because I'm this is for customer. And I'm going to say link the service. So, so use the same linked service so what we have created with the parameters. So now I'm not going to do anything here. I'm going to leave this guy as it is and then uh, go to the more detailed configuration by clicking open and then do all configuration here. So click on open and here uh, you are going to see that uh, linked service properties and the see that parameter we created for linked service that uh, appeared here so now we have to map it what we are going to do here we are going to go to the parameters here and first of all we are going to create our parameter called the ds underscore db name sorry data set db name so i give the name and convention or create the parameters according to some good names because i need to remember what i'm looping through what i'm uh, mapping and all those kind of thing so this is the parameter for my data set now I get, go back to connection and here where it says linked DB so my linked service need to use this parameter value I'm not going to provide test I will be providing that DS DB name so that's my data set uh, parameter now I provided that but where the value for DS DB will be coming that will be coming from our for each so I go to pipeline back and here see right there DS DB name appeared now I need to map that to my for each so click on for each and here I will say DB name and where this DB name is coming you guys know very well this is the query right see right there that's the DB name okay go back here and now we can go back to open again and I can do a few more things 
as I know that my table name, so I'm going to go ahead and provide the table name. You can always actually make your table name parameterized as well. And uh, but in my case, I'm fine because uh, I am reading the same table from multiple uh, databases uh, and create the CSV file for each of the uh, table from different databases. So we are all set here. You need to see one more time. See the parameter of your data set is uh, being used in the linked service parameter and uh, that's where it is. And uh, this uh, DSDB name, your data set parameter values uh, configured to use from the for each so that's the, that's how the mapping is done now go to sync and here what we are going to do we are going to create a new data set and that's going to be blob storage now your blob storage csv file and i'm going to call this one ds file or customer file so give some proper name always it helps linked service i have to create a new link service because i don't have for my blob storage so i'm going to call it um, tech brothers blob okay now you go right there select your subscription and then you select your account so tech browser it storage in tech browser it storage what i have i have a container so let me take you guys there and in this container i have nothing so go to container and in this output container in this container we do not have any files let's go back to the your data factory and test our linked service for the blob container and uh, we are all good actually not for the blob container just for the blob now what we are going to do it is asking us to give us the container name so output and then it um, is asking hey your first row is going to be header yes it is and do you have the file name as of now i cannot provide file name here because i have to map to the uh, value coming through the from the for each so i'm going to hit ok now and then uh, I will go back here in the sync, go to the open, and here I will create a parameter for my data set. I will call it uh, DS file name. Now, this connection will be right here. I'm going to go to add dynamic content, and I'm going to use this uh, parameter. Once I create that parameter and use it here, now I need the value for this parameter. I'm going to go back to pipeline, and in the pipeline, I have this uh, parameter right there. So DS file name, click right there. The value should be coming from the for each loop. And what should be the name? File name. How I got this file name? If you guys remember, there is a query for that. So if you run this query, see the file name is coming through that. So there are two things we are getting, DB name and file name. DB name I use in the source and the file name I'm using in the sync. Looking good. Now we are gonna hit okay. And our pretty much everything is done. Now we can go ahead and debug. That's a click on debug. It should read the data from multiple databases as we are using parameterized linked service. And then we should be writing the data to the blob storage. Two, two files should be created and each one should have the data from, one should have the data from the tech res DB and the other one should have the data from the test DB. looking uh, really good uh, get list of the DB files okay so it got the list uh, and now if I click here it got test and test customer that's my database name and that's my file name the second database name is the tech versus IT sorry DB and the tech versus the customer and that's a file name now for each loop is telling us that there are two item count uh, or red next uh, we have some uh, more details how many rows and everything but we are not really concerned about that we can leave this as it is now we can uh, go to the output folder or container and take a look file has been created according to the provided name if i will click on a test customer it should have data from the test database and that is correct this is coming from the test database that's awesome so it worked and then what we have next we have a tech versus and uh, this data should be coming from the tech browser. So that's correct as well. So this is how you will use uh, the linked service uh, with the parameters. Uh, so you can loop through the list of the databases or there could be so many scenarios uh, uh, where uh, you will be changing, you know, and using these linked services uh, with the parameters. Um, pretty easy, not too much to bother, just pay attention to it. Uh, let me go over one time 
I want to make a, uh, take a minute and show you a few more things. Though. Because I, it took me a while to grasp the whole thing. So first of all, what you're going to do, you are going to create all linked service. And uh, that linked service uh, should have a parameter. So you're going to create that parameter right here. Then you're going to use that parameter right there. See right there? It says linked service dot lnkb db name. So that's uh, how it is going to show up once you have that set up so now your linked service is ready and set to go with the parameter but when you're going to create the pipeline you need to provide some parameters to the linked service so the goal is like if you have multiple databases you have to loop through or some other scenario where your linked service is getting the values in that in my case i use the lookup to make that list of the database names and uh, then uh, uh, I pass that to the for each, and inside the for each, uh, then I have the copy activity. Inside the copy activity in the source, uh, you will need to see this very clearly. When uh, you open that, it already bring the linked service properties. Now you need to map that to some uh, data set uh, values there. Once you are done, now you have to provide some value to dsd uh, db name that means data set uh, parameter needs some value and that value will be coming from the for each uh, so you see right there and then that's it uh, that once you are all done uh, it will work just fine uh, and i hope uh, you learned something out of this video i really appreciate uh, your time spending with me uh, and uh, i will uh, appreciate if you will go ahead and uh, subscribe my channel and uh, see you guys in next video